how that works through your CRM once that is possible. Okay, it gives you full accountability as a manager for your department. Okay, it allows you to send a quick message and move on. Just that simple. Go ahead. So if I send you a message, does it show up as more friends? Uh, if you send me a message, it on actually Facebook? no, because if you send me a personal message, it goes right through the right notification. That yeah, it comes in the notification. Yeah, because you have uh, you have the three uh, sections there. One is to accept friends, one is to get messages, and one is to um, look at your notifications. The one in the middle is for your direct messages. So it goes right to me. So oftentimes ignore notifications. Do you recommend posting on the person's wall? No. Or do you still think a notification is better way to do it? Um, I think a notification is better. I don't want to air the customer's dirty laundry. I don't want the whole world to know that they're looking at yeah, that they're two hours upside down or, or even coming for a quiz. I don't want to embarrass people. And that's all I'm going to get into Twitter right now real quick. Uh, with that, is that that's one of the big things. Okay. So this, this is why I'm, this, I'm glad you asked that because it's going right into what I'm talking about. Twitter follow-up, in my opinion, is not the best. Okay. As much as I like Twitter, you're limited to a lot of things. Okay. It can be challenging if a customer doesn't follow you. Okay. If a customer doesn't follow you, you cannot send them a direct message. The only message you can send them is a, a message to like tweet out to them. And again, that's similar to what you just asked about Facebook. You're airing out the dirty laundry. I don't want to do that. Okay, it's just that simple. So that's why I'm not a fan of using Twitter for that. Unless, of course, they're following you to a different story. Okay? The other thing is you're only allowed 140 characters for a message, so where are you going to go? I don't know, you know, it's got to be quick and direct. And you saw some of my messages, they were a little bit long and they had some value for them going on. Okay. Like I said, tweeting publicly at Mr. Jones will not look good. Don't air customer dirty laundry out there. Okay. LinkedIn follow-up, in my opinion, is better than Facebook. Um, I'm sorry, it's better than Twitter, but worse than Facebook. The reason why, certain numbers on LinkedIn uh, require paid memberships. And, you know, for, to send messages. Unless, of course, they're linked into you. Or there are some members you can just send a message to. So that limits to who you can send those messages to. Okay? Um, where did we go? Okay. Yeah, so certain numbers require paid memberships to send messages. It's just that simple. Okay, certain numbers need to be linked in to you to send messages. Members might use different email addresses for LinkedIn accounts. Okay, LinkedIn is more of a business thing, it's professional. So you might end up using your business email address uh, for LinkedIn. But when you submit a request to me online, you're probably using a personal one because you don't want your employer to know that you're trying to buy a car. And, you know, you don't want to have to air that out there. So you use sometimes people use different email addresses. I know that I have three email addresses, and I only use one of them for LinkedIn. But if I use another one uh, to you know for social media or to send in a request, you won't be able to find me on LinkedIn. Okay, so I don't recommend using it unless, of course. Uh, with LinkedIn, you can literally, um, if you connect with people, you can use for prospecting. Okay, um, I think for prospecting for new business, if you have 500 connections and you're running a special, and a lot of people you already know in your friend group, you can literally let them know, hey, we're having a big sale. Anybody you know is interested, please let us, you know, we'd like to run your business, and we'll, we'll give you a compensation for that as well. Okay, so it's good to prospect for new business. But again, it can be really time consuming, and that's the biggest issue that I have with, with using LinkedIn for a follow-up process, okay? Um, the bottom line is, I want to be able to build a common ground with people, and I want to get more people to connect with them. Okay, so I want to review customer profile, I want to find their hobbies and interests, and I want to create a conversation. Before I go into these last few points, I'm going to explain to you why I want to find their hobbies and interests. Part of my follow-up process and this is, could be a whole other topic, but I have a few minutes. What's interesting is I did a follow-up process. We had an appointment with the dealership next Saturday at this Volkswagen store, and the lady didn't show up. I had only been there a couple of days, so I didn't have a whole handle on the CRM that they were using, and um, I was pretty much trying to build up a process and get all the junk out and get all the, the good processes in. And we had an appointment with the lady, but her phone number was a fax number. So she just showed up for her appointment. I tried to reach her, couldn't reach her. Okay. Went on Facebook. You know, put in her email address. Facebook profile comes up, but it's blocked. You can't send her a message. That happens too. Okay. Once in a while, somebody doesn't want to be stopped. 
I don't know, could be a model that just has, to, she has 24 friends, her picture's very vague. Her picture looked like it was, uh, um, like I guess it was, she was on vacation somewhere, maybe the Grand Canyon, okay? I all I saw is she has 24 friends, her email address is live to run I remember it lived to run to at hotmail.com. Psychologically, I know that she likes to run. That's her hobby. But that's not something I want to talk about. I want to find out more about her. The only thing that was left is to see her activity section. Activities said Angelina's Craft Case. Uh, she's a big fan of some radio talk show in Philadelphia. And there was a few other things. So I, I have no idea what any of that stuff is. I get on Google real quick. And I turn around and Google Angelina's Craft Case. It takes me all 30 seconds to find out that they're from some restaurant in Ocean City, Maryland, and they're world famous. I turn around and I grab that. I open up an email in my Sierra with a subject line, Angelina's Craft Case. Okay? Because if I put in throwing through Volkswagen, all its other car dealers, they're going to delete it. So, Angelina's Craft Case. So, it gets interesting. It gets interesting. My first paragraph has nothing to do with her not coming in at all. My first paragraph goes like this. Hi there. I noticed you're a fan of Angelina's Craft Case. Aren't you just the greatest? I like them too. As a matter of fact, I was just in Maryland last weekend visiting a friend, and we had Angelina's Craft Case. So I'm so excited to see that you're a big fan of them. They're the best. By the way, my name is Stan Share. I'm the internet director at Burlington Volkswagen. I see you didn't come in for your appointment, and then I went through the whole spiel. Wow. Powerful. Did she call the police on you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, if, you know what it is? What it is? Believe it or not, you've seen the messages on Facebook. Nobody has complained about me reaching out to them on Facebook. They embraced it. They just wrote me back, and that was it. Um, I have not heard of any harassing or psycho stories about that at all. Um, maybe there are, but that's just another shot. If she turns around and tells me, well, how do you know about that? Well, I you never return my phone calls, you never return my emails. I need to try to reach out to you. If you want this vehicle, this is the only car that I have in stock. Um, you know, we need to get, get you in here so you can buy this car. You know, and I couldn't find you, so I went on Facebook and I found you. And just wanted to share that with you. I'm a big fan of Andrew Lee's crap things. Meanwhile, I don't know anything about you. Yeah. <laughs> you have to take the fun. It is what it is. Perception's a reality, am I correct? Okay? You have to play that role, you gotta build the common ground. Okay, so going back to it, that's why I want to find out what happens in their interest, especially when I'm when I uh, responding to the lead at first, even if it's not a Facebook message, even if it's a phone call or an email. If if I see what their email address says, um, you know, uh, uh, what's the baseball team out here? Uh, Colorado Rockies. What? Okay. Not the Denver. I'm sorry. Okay. Colorado Rockies fan 83 at Yahoo.com. Okay, so I know they're a baseball fan, so I'm going to talk to them about baseball. Okay, break the ice. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Then you get them to read your dealership reviews. Okay, part of that is in my auto response and also in my Facebook follow up as we saw. You get them to like you, trust you, do business with you. It's that simple. Okay, you have to give your customers a value package and show them that you were doing business. Okay, and we talked about that before with my father going and picking up the car and bringing it back. Okay. So, bottom line, that is social media follow up for you. Thank wow. you. Wow. <laughs> so, you have all my information here. If you guys have any questions, um, you all have the drive. Uh, by all means, if you can reach out to me. Okay. Okay. If we have questions, you will find <laughs> 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 That's fine. Same way I have to question. Thank you, Nathan.